Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you for the continuation of this minimalist run let's play of Final Fantasy X-2. So, last time we found out, and I don't know how this was logistically possible, LeBlanc was able to somehow get onto our airship and able to steal the broken sphere that we obtained in the Xanarkin Ruins. Like I said, how she was able to pull it off when the airship is always in the air, I have no idea. I mean, how, did he, how the heck did she pull that off? Anyway, we are now going to make the necessary arrangements in order to get the sphere that was stolen back. So, in order to make that initiative, we have to go on a bit of a journey. So, Buddy doesn't have any leads on uniforms, but there are places we can go. So... LeBlanc is based now in Guado Salam. This is where she is situated. So we're gonna go there right now initially. Because you can actually get some clues on where you can find some uniforms because we have to steal some uniforms off of LeBlanc's cronies and use them to sneak into her place of residence which just so happens to be the place that used to be the residence of Seymour Guado. Now, if you want to keep your completion percentage low for the Minimalist run, do not engage the guards. Under any circumstances, do not engage them. Instead, just go and talk around with other people. So, here's one person who's saying that the goons are off to look for a sphere that's buried in the sand. Now, I had initially thought that there was no reason to go to Beaconel for a legitimate reason, but actually there is. So, yeah, there is a sphere to be found, but... You actually have to follow where they're going. And there's supposed to be another person who gives you a clue on to where you can find the information that you seek. Now, was it from you? Yes, also as well, along the high road. So, those are the two places that they let us know about. Um, the third place, you actually have to find out on your own. So for now, we're going to go back to the airship. So this was strictly for demonstrational purposes, to let you know that you can get clues in Guadalajara as to where you can find uniforms. So, once you do get some leads, Buddy's line changes to... Oh, actually, he didn't actually say it. Because when you do get new information, you can start going around to where you need to go. So, there are two places we can go. We can go to the Mushroom Rock Road, that's where one of them is. And we can also found out we can go to Beaconel. We're going to go to, um, to get to the closest spot possible for our first, um, stealing of a uniform. We're actually going to go to Jose Temple, since we have to come here anyway. We have to come here anyway in order to get access to the Beaconel Desert. You'll find out why later. So, upon our arrival... Yeah, Jesse Temple's still as freaked out as ever. And hey, we're getting a lot of attention. Everyone's staring. There's a reason for that. Famous uni. Better get used to it. Exactly. <sighs> All I want is some peace and quiet. Well then why did you become a sphere hunter? She's led such a sheltered life. Maybe she's getting old. Who's getting old? <laughs> yeah, that's the one question you never want to ask a woman. Maybe she's getting old. Or how old are you? Or something to that line. So yeah, we want to talk to that guy. That's Gippo, leader of the machine faction. He can be kind of annoying, but he's alright. Yeah, of course, because he's okay, in our bed too. Some interviews. Bring it. Yeah, a guy with... Um, hip-hop style, or not hip-hop style, boy band style hair, and an eye patch. Would you want to cross someone like that? So anyway, we have to get into line here with these people. So, yeah, behind that person, they say they're soft with applicants, wait your turn. So you have to get in line here, and you have to follow said line. It goes pretty much whenever it wants to, so you have to wait until someone walks out, someone else walks in, and the process just keeps repeating itself. So you have to wait for this to happen three times. So I'm just going to skip till when we actually get to the opportunity to get the interview.
Okay, so with the riffraff now cleared out, we can now go take our interview. Actually, this isn't quite the interview just yet. We have to apply first. I want to dig. So now we have to go on into the temple, and that's where Gipple will interview us. Or at least that's where he's supposed to interview us. You'll see why in a moment. You got it. So when we go to Jose Temple... And by the way, I love this music for Jose Temple. I really love the combination of the jazz and rock that they do here. What are they contemplating? Yeah, more people to talk to. Huh? Yeah, we're right here. You are uh, here for an interview. Indeed, we are. Uh huh. The Great High Summoner wants an interview. What's wrong with that? Former exactly. Hmm. All right, follow me. Yeah, we have to follow Gipple now. And for just being in here, we get key item outbed primer number four. So yeah, we gotta follow him out of the building. Yeah, it's a, it's a wild juice goose chase just to get the opportunity to go into the Beacon All Desert. Don't ask me why they set it up this way, they just did. So we've got to follow him out to the bridge. Yeah, because yeah, he's not directly outside the temple, we actually got to follow him to the bridge. Here he is. Never been this close to a celebrity before. Don't be imposing there, Gipple. You don't want to scare her off. Let's not. <laughs> exactly. Well, if it isn't Sid's girl, how you been? Hey, I have a name. Yeah, she does. Huh. Brother doing okay? But at least they know that he knows the family. He's around too. <laughs> Same as ever is right. Okay, you. So why you're wondering why Gipple's reaction is different to pain? Uh huh. Well, there's actually a reason for that. We're here for the interview. Right. The interview. Yeah. You sure you want to dig? Cause we're talking about the desert, ladies. Not exactly a picnic. Well, that's why we're here. But hey, there's another reason too. But it's not for you to figure out. All right, you're hired. Welcome. Huh? Yeah, it's just that easy. You are hired. Don't know why a superstar like you would want to play in the sand. Well, we have an ulterior motive. Well, do what you gotta do. Anyways, I've done what I can. Dig to your heart's content. Um, thanks. Show this letter to a woman named Nadala. You'll find her in the Beacon Hill Desert. You got it, kiddo. So we got the key item letter of introduction. Happy digging! Thanks, Skipple. And while we're here, we might as well take this treasure chest, which contains three potions. But before we continue on, because we actually do now want to go in the direction of the Mushroom Rock Road, let's go ahead and save the game. So, over this direction. Use the save sphere. So yeah, as I mentioned, there was a specific reason why Gipple reacted differently to pain than to the others, but that'll be shown off soon enough. So, we can now go in the direction of the Mushroom Rock Road, and hey, who look who we found! We found LeBlanc's cronies! After them, Yuna! Hurry, hurry! Come on, you can outrun them! If you can beat them up, surely you can outrun them! Oh no! They are in you! Oh, they won't be running for long. No, they will not be running for long at all. So, let's make our way now. You know, this guy is out like a light because these two guys decided to make an example of him, but he's not our concern. So we want to run this direction. Oh, that's weird. Where did we drop that thing? We gotta find that sphere, or the boss will be furious. We might even get the heal. 
you stop complaining and help me look? <laughs> hey, did you hear that? Let's find it first. Someone's turning Yuna into a bad girl. Who? Yeah, exactly, who? <laughs> So, we have found an opportunity to steal an article of clothing. Two birds, one stone. Swipe the syndicate's lost fear. As long as you're making a scene, you may as well nab their clothes, too. So, it's time for the dance music. So, here on the Mushroom Rock Road, you will fight regular fiends, but since we pissed off the Youth League by giving them the... Um... By giving the Sword Sphere... The... Um, Sphere to New Yevon, we're actually going to end up getting not the most positive welcome. Um, yeah, here we go. I want to get um, Riku back over to Warrior. And I better do it fast or else things could get hairy. So we gotta pass through the animations again. Even though I have put them, changed them to shorts, it is Riku's first time passing through this transition, so we gotta allow her to do it. Alright. Well, why don't we steal? I mean, we might as well. Alright, we learned flee. Okay. Alright. Oh. I want to give Riku a heal. And then I want her to become a warrior. Quickly, because she's poisoned. Yeah, we better go on this. So now Riku gets back over to Warrior. And now we can start beating it up, and it's over. Yeah, the Agama's not too bad of an opponent. Alright, and we did get an antidote, so let's make use of it. And I also want to sort my items. Alright, now we can continue. Now we're back to my usual combination of just your usage. So we should, along the way, be able to find some Youth League opponents. But this isn't them, this is LeBlanc's cronies. So we'll simply have to make an example out of them. Um, you're going down bad. You shall suffer for having your boss somehow be able to defy all logic and be able to get onto my airship while I was in the sky and steal part of my a sphere I was in possession of. Yeah, but we should run into a Youth League opponent. And I'm shocked we're not. Because, yeah, they they become the bad guys once you, um, give the Sphere to New Yevon. Because, yeah, in the practice runs, that's all I was fighting was, um, warriors from the Youth League. Alright, now I guess we gotta attack you now. Gonna try and save our lives here. We're gonna do it though. Oh, we're gonna have to have Yuna switch abilities here. Or, not abilities, but rather um, her methods. And I don't know what the heck you're doing. But I will defeat you eventually. That much I do know. And we're gonna chop you up. Yeah, because yeah, once its magic is down, now you're fine. <laughs> yeah, and it's forced to take magic down again. Now we're really te teaching the lesson here. We should have it soon. Because I would hate to have to have it come down to... <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, it took its sweet time, but we made it. Alright, so, might as well have Riku doing the warrior, or rather the healing in this instance. Alright, now satisfied, we can continue. I would like to fight the Youth League soldiers at least once, before we find the sphere. In fact, I'll take one more battle on purpose to see if we can get them to spawn. Uh, let's do it. Let's not. Alright, fine. We're out of here. Yeah, because apparently they don't want me to... What 
um, be able to demonstrate stuff. So can we go now? Oh, I learned Kiraga. Awesome. And I guess the demonstration will have to never occur. So let's take the opportunity to check out the abilities. Um, I want Yuna to start learning white magic level 3. I want... Well, first of all, I want to equip the... Well, actually, you know what? Let's leave it on her for now. But as far as abilities for Riku, I want her on Warrior to... Um, she's fine where she is. And as for Pain, let's have her start learning Magic Break. Yeah, because once we go into battle by obtaining this sphere, you found Yuna's special dress sphere, Floral Falal. Special dress spheres. After changing to all of the dress spheres on a character's active garment grid, call up the garment grid with L1, and then press R1 to activate the special dress sphere. And to accomplish this, we get the Unerring Path garment grid. Now, this is a mandatory obtaining of a special dress sphere. There's also another one as well. So that's where it was. Yeah, that's right, Sumo. Sorry for the trouble. I appreciate you finding it for us, though. Well, we didn't find it for you. You're not giving it back? Of course not, because you stole a sphere from us. Turn about is fair play, you know. Oh, and here comes Logos. I still don't know why they gave you an Asian face. I mean, it seems like a lot of characters um, that are of Asian descent or of an Asian appearance are typecast as villains. I, I don't know why that is, to be honest. I'm, I'm not impressed with it. Anyway, it's time for our duel against Ormi, Ormi Logos and their lackey. So let's start by beating up the goon, having Pain doing that. Meanwhile, Riku will steal from Ormi and Logos. Alright, so... Femgoon again, and then... Logos. Feel like taking a spin? <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, that thing can hurt. Alright, keep on going. Mega Potion. Alright, an X Potion and a Mega Potion. Alright, so... We'll keep on going, and then... Riku, back to... Being a... Warrior again. And here she goes. Um, I want to target Logos first because he actually has abilities... That can inflict status ailments on you. Case in point, the fact that um, Riku and Pain have both been darked. Alright, so we're going to have to use Asuna. We're going to have to use Asuna and help out the girls here. And, well, I'm not worried about Yuna. Not worried about Yuna at all. Unless, of course, she gets low on HP, then it's another story. Alright. But yeah, you want to focus on Logos first because of the fact that he has the status ailments. Oh, come on. I took the dark off. Ugh. <laughs> no mercy from these guys. Nor should there be. Well... If I have my way, which I should, you won't really stand much of a chance. So yeah, they're gonna get darked again. Well, actually, it was just... Okay, well, this time I'll use eye drops to help out Riku, because I don't need to worry about that happening to um, Pain, or rather to Yuna, I should say. But she still can't score. Which sucks. Come on, take out Logos here, guys. Is 
such sweet sorrow. Oh. Stay on your feet, Yuna. Ah, oh, never mind. Crap. She's out. Ah. Now let's get rid of Logos quickly. We need to get rid of Logos in a hurry. Come on, guys. We got a score here. Absolutely got a score. Oh, now everyone's darked. Ah! Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a sock in it. Alright. Um, might as well use that. Yeah, they weren't not this hard to beat in the practice run. Not even remotely. Come on, gotta beat these guys up here. Ah, finally, Logos is down. Yeah, put your guns away and get out of here. A jerk. Now then, where were we? Yeah, they... <laughs> yeah, these guys definitely did a number on Yuna's MP. But it's time for us to bring this battle home and finally put an end to this crap. There we go. It's over. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we survived. Barely. But we did prevail and that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, and we got a girl running for her life. Wearing uh I don't know if you could call that a bra, but it's but she's also definitely wearing a thong too. So we liberated a syndicate uniform, and we're getting 170 points apiece, and Riku and Payne both got big experience levels. Yeah, that was, that was a bit of a rough start. But we did pull through. And that's what matters. So, with that taken care of, once we arrive back on our airship, we will soon see that the newly acquired syndicate uniform is already being put to use by Miss Riku. It's fun to be the bully every once in a while. <laughs> well, if you say so. Yeah, she even follows you around. You know, like, I'm not done stealing spheres. Alright, so... I want to check before we close out this episode. Some things I want to see, obviously, the new items that we got. Um, well, she could definitely use the silver bracelet, that much is certain, after the beating she took. So, let's go ahead and give it to her. And then, for Riku, yeah, since she doesn't rely on that as much, um, let's see what we can give her. We can definitely give her the wristband, that much we can give her. Or maybe it's better, would be better used on pain. I don't know. What I do know is that we're gonna be really bringing the it against our opponents now. Yeah, she should be equipped with silver glasses. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked to f that I didn't actually have those equipped. But it matters not, we got what we were looking for. So, we'll save our game. And then... I will join you guys in a moment, and we will be now making our way to our next location to get a Syndicate uniform, so be back in a moment.